Hello and welcome to the fundamentals of electrical power systems for biorefineries. Today I would like to speak to you about the subject of smart grids. First of all, what is a smart grid? Smart grids unite two worlds. One is the world of energy, which is given in the terms of volts, amps, seconds, so car voltage, current, time, and also including, not to forget, these physical quantities, in quotation marks, the euro and the paragraph, so it is about money and regulation. And the other world is the world of ICT, information and communication technology, which is given in terms of bits, bytes, hertz, frequency, transmitting power, and so on, and also about the economic considerations. The smart grid is defined as a grid that incorporates two so far independent systems. This is the electrical power system and this is the information system in green. And these grids have some properties that were not achievable before. One is that all the consumers and producers are aware of others, that they are regarded as agents, not just passive consumers, but they can influence things and take part in the whole process, that there is a spontaneity, that means you can do whatever you like and the system must keep up with these demands, that the system is sensitive to the demands and the wishes of all their components, and that the system is adaptive. So if something changes, like the production, then it must be made up by the consumption or an increase of other production. Everybody of us knows by nowadays one of the key elements of the smart grids, which is at the customer side, these are the smart meters. So the smart meters are devices that are no longer the so-called black boxes. They count as well the electricity consumed, but they have quite a few more possibilities to do electrical things. One is they monitor the voltage, they can monitor the phase angle of the current, they can uh, allocate the current consumption to different slots of time. They can also take some control actions according to the degree of technical their technical components and how far they are constructed and configured to do this. One example I would like to give you about the possibilities and chances with these smart grids, that is the question of the peak shaving or load shifting. Here we see the daily consumption curve, which has already been dealt with in the chapter about electrical loads. We see this load valley in the night and the peak during noon and the evening hours. So here I will show to you how nowadays the production of electricity is distributed. We have the so-called must-run units, which are large hydro, nuclear, maybe also wind. Then we have, for example, the renewables, which is PV or wind that comes on top of it. And the rest must be made up by carbon dioxide related generation procedures like burning gas, burning coal, etc., wood. So now, this is the point where we would like to shift our attention to. For example, if we add electric vehicles in the car and we assume that all these electrical vehicles are plugged in uh, at the garage in the evening hours when people come home, that would mean we have an additional load in the evening hours. And you see, these might even exceed the peak that was so far foreseen. And that would mean an overload of the grid, which is not good. So now one could do something against this by shifting the time. And that is done by this lay load shifting or peak shaving. So instead of taking the electricity and energy out of the grid in the evening hours, we do it in the low load time. That for example, this is the night hours. Or it could be done in times when there is a surplus of energy which could not be used in other ways. Then it will be used in electric cars. Peak shaving is just one example of smart grids applications. There are other applications like sharing the generation proportions between generation group A and B or influencing other properties of electrical grids like reconstruction of the grid and reconfiguration after a fault. That is all possible 
And this is the future of the smart grids, which unite the two worlds, the world of electrical energy and the world of information and communication technologies. So this was a short introduction into smart grids, which incorporate the two worlds, the world of electrical energy and the world of ICT, information and communication technology, which by combining the two properties and sharing the information makes the system more efficient and more flexible. If you have further questions, please turn to the script. Thank you.